What's going on everybody? We are pumping out videos left and right. And today behind me, we are gonna do a walkthrough of this beautiful 2025 Skeeter FXR 20. Full of features, full of benefits, full of accessories. So let's get into it, y'all stay tuned. All right guys, as y'all know, we are gonna start in the back and move to the front. First piece of business, this absolute beauty right here. 250 Yamaha Show, new Callan cover. As you know, it came and it is here to stay. That's sitting on a 12 inch hydraulic jack plate. Mounted to that is the eight foot Minn Kota Raptors. Little accessory ladder right here onto this absolute beast. These things are crazy, oh my gosh. Moving on up, we have the Skeeter fiberglass fenders. Obviously color matched to match the boat and the pinstripes. Uh, new for 2025, I think they did them in 2024 too, right? The wheels. So they're going down to smaller wheels. Uh, they used to have the low profile wheels that um, were getting curved a lot. So they went down to a smaller wheel to protect it and uh, bigger, beefier tires. Um, that, this beauty is sitting on a Skeeter built trailer. Uh, Skeeter's proud of their trailers. They also put a step halfway through to the front of the trailer. Obviously so you can step up, access your rod compartment. Uh, moving on up, you obviously have your jack your winch and then your spare tire let's move on over to the other side of the boat because they redesigned the ladder to get in and out for this year all right so on the older skeeters or what 2024 models um it had just the two steps leading up now you have a handrail so it's a lot easier to get in and out the boat it's uh, slip resistant Got the handlebar easy in and out the boat uh, from the trailer. So let's hop on in and get to some of the features on the inside. All right, y'all hold on to y'all seats. Big, big changes this year. First off, easy maintenance, huge um, back battery compartment lids. Now here's the thing, the 2025 Skeeters comes standard with Dakota lithium batteries. That's crazy. So now the Skeeters you get from now on will have obviously lithiums. You have your Minn Kota Precision uh, five bank charger, your Raptor pumps, and then you have uh, your main power um, switch for obviously on and off the, all the power supply to the whole boat. All right, so standing in the back of the boat, you have your live wells in the center. You have a storage compartment on each side. As I'm going through the boat, remember these FXRs, they have the angled compartment lights uh, in your, like your two storages in the back, in your battery compartments, uh, the, some of the storage in the front. But um, yeah, so that, that's, a, that's a big thing. Also new for the uh, FXRs moving forward as well is your, they have a live well pad. So you know how people have like pool noodles and stuff in your live well? Well, that's what this for. A lot of, a lot of tournament anglers have problems with fish jumping out with the new live well pad. Obviously it's gonna float in the bottom and your fish will be under that. So they can't jump out and also when you open it up, it doesn't let light into the live well and the fish don't go crazy. So that's two new features for two of three very, very big new features with the uh, FXRs moving forward. The Dakota Lithiums is in the FXRs moving forward. This live well pad is in the FXRs moving forward. And then coming up, we're gonna talk about the touch screen at the, um, at the console. That will be in all the FX, FXRs moving forward as well. Have your um, 
your butt seats, uh, one in the back, one in the front. Um, I think that kind of talks covers up the back deck. Obviously, a huge back deck, and obviously any bass fishing need you can cover from back here. It's not going to be cramped at all. Uh, so let's move up into the cockpit. So moving into the console, or as we call it, our office, uh, we obviously spend a lot of time right here. Seats are extremely comfortable, but you know, this looks a little weird. There are no gauges right here. Uh, usually we have a fuel gauge, RPMs. Uh, we'll have a, a Yamaha gauge right here where we can go through the hours of our motor, uh, the, the uh, oil temp, all the sensors and everything. There's nothing here anymore. The only thing we have right here is our uh, Raptor switches, but all that information is now gonna be shown on our new command center. It's a touchscreen pad, but still at the steering wheel, we have our blinker trim switches, blinker style trim switches. One is for the jack plate, one is for the motor. We have a beautiful Helix 12 right here, mega down imaging, mega side imaging, your mapping, you can get the, um, what is it, the Lake Master maps, crazy detail. Standard option, our standard feature obviously on the Skeeter FXRs. Moving down, we have our full command center. Don't worry, I know it's brand new, but there's a lot of new features in here. So we put together a whole nother video for you. Um, I'm not sure when we posted it, but we posted it before we posted this one. So as I'm talking about it, whenever we get through with this video, you can just go look at the uh, one we just posted about the command center. and It'll give you a full walkthrough of uh, the command center, all the features and everything. You have your keys, um, obviously your push start for your power and your command center. We have the, um, the throttle or the shifter, obviously. Uh, there's a trim on your Yamaha shifter and throttle. You don't, This obviously doesn't control the throttle. You have your hot foot right here. Uh, then you have a drain plug and a live well plug. Um, you can open and close your live wells from your seat. And uh, if, like we've all done before, the plug gets forgotten, we can put it in and take it out. Then right here we have your plug-in for your five bank Minn Kota precision charger and a dry dock. What the dry dock is, is it's a fan. It blows uh, into the um, driver rod box right here and it circulates through all the compartments in the front and can get rid of some of that moisture, you know, if we spear a wave or two or if it rains while we're out on the water. So great business office extremely comfortable we can spend a bunch of time here moving to my left we have the cooler this thing is huge it keeps ice very very well I'm not gonna say it's some state-of-the-art redesigned cooler all I can say is I've fished tournaments out of this boat I've put ice in here at the, uh, in the mornings I fished in August in Florida and I've gotten back to the boat ramp and have still had ice in the cooler. So it does its job very, very well. It has shelves on both sides if you wanna put a sandwich in there and <clears throat> you don't want it to get all nice and soggy. But it's not just a cooler, it has a backrest and padding. So it is extremely comfortable. You can sit in it if there's three people in the boat and then you have your um, two cup holders right here. There's obviously a cup holder on the right side of the driver and on the left side of the co-angler. All right, moving into the co-angler seat. Obviously, we have easy access to the cooler. Uh, we have convenient rod storage right here. Uh, I've set up to eight rods in this thing with reels. So you have your famous Skeeter rod strap to make sure that those don't go anywhere. Your um, O-crapper handle. And then move over here, we have a slam latch that goes right into our um, our dry dock. I just, I, I just use it for dry storage. I put my phone, my wallet, keys, pocket knife, uh, quick information that I need to get to, 
Another feature, if you want to add it, obviously this is um, an extra option. You can put a passenger console right here if you'd like. Um, obviously you just have to let us know. We can install it and you'll have a dual console bolt instead of a singer console, single console bolt. So um, yeah, that pretty much sums up the seating area, cockpit area. So let's move up to um, the front deck. Moving on to the front deck, we have my favorite part of this whole entire boat, the trash can. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. I use this thing 24 seven. I will throw so much crap in here, get to the gas station, dump it out. Another thing I do, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but instead of keeping G juice and all that stuff in a Ziploc bag that ends up spilling into your storage compartments in the back anyway, I just put my G juice and, and stuff under my trash can. I've never had an issue with it. Um, I mean, you can put some stuff, if you're not worried about it getting wet, put it some stuff under your trash can, you got extra storage. The famous Skeeter ruler. Um, as I say in, you know, the bass boat walkthroughs, uh, if you catch small fish like me, you're gonna have to use this thing all the time. But um, if you catch giant fish like clay behind the camera, then you probably are never gonna have to use that. Yeah, okay, I see it. I see it, buddy. Uh, dry box, and then the famous Skeeter Day box. You have all of your storage for your dipping dies, small miscellaneous products like your fizz and needle. Then you have your dividers that you could put, um, you know, fin clips on one side, and then the baits you're using for the day. Um, in the other, you can use them as spinner bait uh, storage. And then props to Skeeter. We didn't have anywhere to mount um, the live scope boxes, active target boxes, hummingbird live boxes, but we have um, a fuse panel um, for wiring harnesses. Uh, you have live well. Um, and some other ex uh, accessory buttons right here in case something were to happen with your um, command center. You still have some um, extra buttons right here. So with that being said, you open up the driver's side rod box and there's no connection. So in the FXRs and the ZXRs, you used to be able to touch the bottom of your day box well, now you can't anymore because it's a wall and you obviously have the Skeeter bungee, bungee cords for your rods. No carpet, uh, kind of like a C-deck padding. And then we used to have a mega rod tube. Even the mega rod tube's gone. It is a full, <laughs> there, there is no rod tube. It's just full access, as many rods you can stuff in there, obviously. If you can, if you fill up this box, then you obviously have too many rods. We have uh, two accessory lights right here. Same exact thing on the passenger side or the main rod box. You have the two tier steps for your rods um, and the absolutely monstrous rod tube. Uh, obviously no carpet. Same exact on the other side, kind of a C-deck with the FXR logo in the middle. Then to our center tackle compartment, keeping the rod up. Uh, obviously more lights right on the uh, lid. Um, one thing that I didn't touch on on any of the compartments, but I'm gonna touch on it on this one. So Skeeter has all aluminum billet accessories even on the lids. I mean, this is this is all aluminum, but we have a raised lid right here. It's I mean, it's still from the uh, ZXRs and FXRs. This is all the same. So we have a little raised lip right here, foam on the bottom side of your actual lids. So when these close, these touch no moisture and no water from uh, outside elements, you know, into the into your tackle the removable tackle trays where you can go into hotels 
go into your Airbnb if you're traveling, or you can just take them into your garage. Or you can obviously take them all out and just have a bunch of individual boxes. You can put bags on both sides. They make, you know, custom dividers for more storage. There's so many like storage options in this thing. It's crazy. And then you still have more rod storage on both sides up on the very, very front of the boat. So moving to where all of us anglers spend a lot of time, I'm going to use the Skeeter step. So it's an easy step to get onto the front deck. And then next to the Skeeter step, we have all of our plier, scissor um, storage, you know, when you catch obviously not the targeted species or you got a small mouth that uh, it's a little hard to unhook. You got your pliers, scissors, all of your uh, quick access tools to get the job done. Moving up to the front deck, we have our second butt seat. Um, Skeeter obviously just thinking of every single detail. Hydraulic, you can raise it or lower it if you want to get closer or further away to your foot pedal. I mean, crazy, e everything you can think of. Moving up, we have the Minn Kota Old Trex Quest. Um, everyone has been talking about this thing. Why? Because it deserves to be talked about. This thing is crazy. It's insanely powerful. It's quiet. They've upgraded the shocks. I mean, I can go into so much detail about this thing, but you really have to come try it to be able to understand what I'm talking about. Then we have another uh, Humminbird Helix 12, just like what was at the console. Um, we have the big uh, wire clamps right here at the front. Um, so that way, if you have one graph or two, it is an easy way to organize and make a factory look of any type of, it doesn't matter how many wires is up here, it's gonna look great and have that factory look. Um, obviously your Minn Kota Ultrax Quest. Uh, foot pedal, obviously another Min, uh, Skeeter billet aluminum just feature. Up here we even have a USB port and a USB-C port up here to charge your phone. I talked about the nav light and the trim switch. Um, to the, comf the comfortability, I mean, um, I'm not a extremely tall guy, 5'10", 5'11"-ish. Um, I mean, two people can stand up here comfortably next to each other. Um, I can do the standard bass boat, lay across the front deck, plenty of room. I mean, oh, the front decks of the Skeeters, the whole front deck is padded. It's not just right up here at the trolling motor. Um, it is all the way through the whole front deck. That is a huge uh, feature for uh, buyers and fishermen since we're standing up here all day. But like I said, all the features I've talked about, I can talk about them as much as you want to hear them, but you aren't going to be able to know what I'm talking about until you're physically standing here, touching it, feeling it, smelling it, getting the whole experience. That is why at Marshall's Marine, we have the test lake. We'll back the boat in. Y'all can make a few laps, put the troll motor down, see exactly what I'm talking about. So if features, accessories, benefits, all the above, um, you can look up www.marshallmarine.com. Obviously comment on any of our social medias. We'll get back with you, but come check it out. I feel like these things aren't really gonna be here long. Uh, I love this boat. Props to Skeeter for everything that they've done, all the upgrades. So y'all come check it out. That's kind of it. Go look at the Command Center video. We're gonna do a detailed walkthrough of the command center, all the new touchscreen features in the Skeeter. So that's kind of it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all followed us along this whole entire walkthrough of our 2025 Skeeter 
FXR20. And um, go watch the other videos. See you later. Peace.